The countdown for Sunita Williams' much-awaited return to Earth has begun. After more than nine months at the International Space Station, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Williams are now preparing for splashdown off the coast of Florida. Following a crew swap over the weekend, the pair, along with two other astronauts, are set to board a replacement SpaceX capsule bound for Earth. The duo has started donning their suits and preparing for the hatch closure with undocking schedule for 10.30 a.m. Indian time today. NASA has confirmed that the ocean splashdown will take place at approximately 3.27 uh, a.m. Indian time on March 19, that is tomorrow. Initially set for Wednesday, the return was advanced due to unfavorable weather later in the week. Wilmore and Williams, who have been aboard the ISS since June last year, will return alongside another American astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut. Their return was delayed due to propulsion issues with the Boeing Starliner spacecraft, which prevented them from coming back earlier. Now, the mission's success will mark the end of their extended stay in space, with the astronauts now one step closer to reuniting with their families. And uh, currently, we are showing you the live visuals. The return process has started. The hatch closure process uh, uh, began at 8.15 a.m. And uh, uh, the next uh, step will be taking place at uh, 10, uh, after 10 a.m. today. And uh, 3.27 a.m. Uh, March 19 is the time of the splashdown. And uh, we're now being joined by Dr. B.K. Tyagi, who's an ex-scientist uh, at Vigyan Parasar, Department of Science and Technology. Dr. Tyagi, a very good morning to you. The countdown has begun. Sunita Williams and Wilmore are just a few hours away from the splashdown. But do help us understand what led to this delay of nine months, a mission that was meant for eight days turned into nine long months. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the uh, you have to understand that uh, the memory of uh, you know Kalpana Chawla, that uh, Challenger disaster was there. And when uh, this uh, you know initially when they went there, uh, there was a, some problem. But anyhow, they it was managed, and they were into the space station. But bringing them back with the same you know vehicle uh, uh, or with the same uh, space ship. It was a, a, a bit risky in the sense like uh, there was a leakage of uh, helium gas and uh, uh, the booster uh, was uh, not working properly. And also the risk which was, uh, you know, assessed. It all uh, the parameter was showing that uh, high risk area because you remember uh, in the case of the Challenger, uh, the one uh, insulating plate was, uh, you know, separated and uh, the risk which was calculated was uh, it was said like uh, it is not uh, that much danger but it's turned out to be a fiasco so this time uh, the, the the full care was taken off and uh, finally it was decided that it will not be the same you know spaceship but different one spacex uh, you know the uh, uh, has gone which is bringing them back which is a you can see a private space shuttle in a way so uh, the idea was to avoid any 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 just minimize uh, in fact in the negative the risk factor that was very important to bring them safely uh, to the earth and this was the reason for a ninth month delay because uh, two three times it was tried but all the time the risk factor which was uh, you know uh, 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 which was there it could not be totally uh, in a removed. So that's why this uh, there was a delay and delay and delay. And it's totally in a nine month. But in a way, it was good. Uh, it's more than uh, 150 experiment has been done. And uh, it has shown the strength of Sunita William and uh, the uh, Wilmore in the sense like uh, 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 they, they, they can stay there for a long they have been there for eight months but uh, this was uh, a exceptionally very courageous act on their part and i salute both of them and and i pray they are safe for a return to the earth meeting with their family members yeah absolutely dr tyagi do also uh, what are the physical challenges that the two astronauts are likely to face one uh, once they return to earth 
Yeah, because uh, see, you have to understand that they are living in a microgravity. That is no gravity, so your muscles are not uh, uh, doing any work. So and uh, the, it, 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 they may get freeze. So they when they return to Earth, uh, fighting with the you know standing with against the gravity of Earth will be difficult because the muscles has uh, not that strength. So, uh, but they were, you know, as a part of the training to astronaut, this was done when they are in space, they have to do certain exercises to keep their muscles in a, uh, uh, in a, in a proper shape, in a proper position. Uh, so the, the health factor will be there because they have to acclimatize. They were there for nine months. Now they have to acclimatize to a new atmosphere directly into the atmosphere plus uh, the 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 body thing because there are a lot of psychological and physical changes uh, when you are living in the microgravity and now they have to you know adjust to 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 the condition on Earth so it will take some time and they will be under observation and once the, they they found to be fit to adjust properly uh, absolutely to the Earth atmosphere to the uh, condition here. I think then they will be uh, free to roam around. Yeah. So there are definitely psychological, uh, there are changes at the psychological level and the physical level. Because you look at your body, there's no gravity. So how the digestion will take place? So if now you are into, into a gravity, so then uh, your body had to adjust uh, according to the new atmosphere or new uh, environment. So it will take some time for them to, to be adjusted. No doubt they were doing proper exercises to keep them physically fit. And in fact, uh, I have seen the video on the social media, uh, the way the Sunita William has welcomed the new crew member. It was really very, I, I was happy to see that she was so excited and full of energy. So I hope uh, she is perfectly all right health-wise, physically and mental health, and uh, both of them. And uh, the, 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 they will be soon acclimatized to the uh, new scenario, new situation, and uh, uh, they will lead their, their normal life. Dr. Tyagi, how long does it usually take to, you know, physically recover after such a long st uh, stay in the space? Uh, it depends. It depends. It's uh, uh, generally there is no such hard and fast rule. It depends, like uh, what was the, their condition, because it was a the, they were there. They initially they were only for eight months, but for nine months, you can see such a long time. So definitely there will be uh, where they were not ready. No doubt they have kept themselves uh, to be physically fit, but it has to be they have it has to be observed properly. And only the uh, uh, the doctors or the 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 the, the uh, people who have to uh, you know check their health condition can tell in what uh, after how much time they will lead to the, or to be they, they will be normal or uh, they can lead the normal life because after reaching here it will be difficult for them to even to stand up in a in a in a, a normal situation because of the muscles. Uh, 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 Muscles has not worked for uh, nine months. So you can imagine, so that physical exercises and also uh, the mental pressure, it all has to be released before uh, the, the... So in this case, it was a... Again, no doubt that Ms. Rita William has already a uh, record. She has almost completed uh, 320 days, uh, 22 days in total in space. But this was, uh, uh, but when they were going there, it was with a, with a plan. But this time it was unplanned. So that pressure was also there. So it has to be closely monitored, watched, and then uh, they, 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 it has to be declared by the, by the medical team and by what time they will be fully normal. So uh, we have to see that because just now it, it is very difficult to say anything about that. Right. Dr. Tyagi, also, are there any further challenges? We know the return process has already begun. Are there any further challenges for NASA while bringing the astronauts back to Earth? 
see this is a very uh, uh, difficult or complicated process you know there, there are so many systems sub system and the system as a whole is working so till the time uh, they reach here safely because it is a reusable vehicle uh, like a uh, like a normal plane it will go into this uh, it will penetrate through the atmosphere and then when it will come to a height it will be uh like flying like a normal uh, uh aeroplane so uh, till the time they 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 reach here land here safely come out from the capsule safely uh we have to keep our finger across no doubt all that uh, uh health uh, parameter uh, sorry uh, the the risk factor and all that has been uh, zero down but uh uh, uh, uh I, I i pray only they should uh, come here safely and as such technically uh, which has been uh, assessed by by the uh, risk uh, people and all that the, the, it is not so because that's why the, this uh, the, the the this uh, spaceship was sent so docking undocking all there are so many complicated uh, procedure and maneuvers which has to be done uh, automatically and physically so we have to uh, wait for that golden moment till uh, they are reaching here safely yeah right uh, also dr tyagi how do the astronauts mentally cope up uh, uh, given that uh, there's this is this was such an extended stay and uh, you were also mentioning about 150 experiments that they carried out while being uh, yeah. on the iss so could you give us more details on that uh i think all uh, the, the some for eight days actually the plan uh, the experiments were planned initially for the eight days but there are uh, many many things how like observing uh, you know earth and uh, the, the the system as a living uh, planet and all that and uh, then also uh, some, some more experiment i don't have at present those details uh, because many of them was also not uh, uh who were in the public domain they all were uh, but uh, the the, uh, uh, pro- the the situation is that uh, they were not in mentally ready for for such a long uh, you know but uh, before they uh, one has to become a perfect astronaut fit for to be uh, going into the space there is a vigorous training here into the zero gravity micro gravity uh, checking their mental and uh, physical uh, health parameter everything so the uh, th- this was uh, as a eventuality it was uh, i think not in in anticipation but i think uh, as part of their training uh, and then and, and also their their connectivity from the ground uh, they they were being guided by 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 the uh, ground staff uh how to keep themselves fit for that and i think they have maintained uh, what initially it looked like both of them are in a perfect uh, uh, condition mentally and uh, uh, physical state but what are the right. when they will reach here uh, it has to be uh, the, the, there is a time to acclimatize to the uh, new situation from you know uh, micro gravity to proper right. gravity Dr BK Tyagi thank you so much for speaking with Mirror now and sharing those insights thank and you. details the world is looking at the process the process has the return process has already begun the countdown has begun all eyes are now on the splash down we're just a few hours away from the return of Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore on earth with that we now say